What's up YouTube? I'm Sean. I uh, wanted to make a quick, very generic review, overview of a knife that I came, uh, became aware of recently from a company called Kaiser. This is their TN, T-I-A-N, Tian. I may be mispronouncing that. Um, initially, when I first saw this knife, um, it, it, I became aware of it through my YouTube feed. Um, a video with a few different new, new drops from, from Kaiser. Um, and this was one of the knives that were um, displayed on that video. Um, and initially, when I first saw this knife, I was enamored with it. I knew I wanted to buy it. it uh, aesthetically, it's just a beautiful knife um, made of titanium with some titanium colored inlays. And uh, I think this is an S35VN steel um, with a beautiful, I'm going to call it an inset. I don't know what, what, what the technical term of this design element is. Uh, but the, the, the knife just spoke to me. Over the next week or so, um, I became hesitant on purchasing this knife, purchasing this knife simply because there were, there were not enough uh, reviews on it. Couldn't find a whole lot of information on it. Um, even on the Kaiser website, there wasn't any reviews. There were, were no reviews on Amazon for it. And couldn't find anything on YouTube aside from the one video that I did see where this was one of a number of knives that were, were being displayed. Um, so yeah, I became hesitant, and in, in fact, I went ahead and purchased another Kaiser knife, um, the Kaiser Mini Paragon, um, shortly after hitting purchase on Amazon for that knife, changed my mind again and canceled it, and I purchased this one instead, and I'm glad that I did. This is a beautiful knife. Again, just look at it. It's a titanium handle, S35VN steel blade. Um, and just to give you guys a little bit of size comparison, excuse all this, this is just for the thumbnail, a little bit of size comparison. I'll go ahead and close it up and I'll show you guys some other knives. Here is a cold steel AD 15. So you can see the size comparison on that. Okay. Here is a cold steel Spartan. It's a small knife. This Tion is, you know, I like the chunky knives. This one's a lot smaller than many of the knives I have. The 8010 by Cold Steel again, much smaller than that one. Let's see, I have a case knife here. It's grandpa's old knife, right? Uh, now my dad actually gave me this one for my birthday, as you can see, in support of law enforcement, uh, because I am a police officer. And here's a, I think they call these like the CEO style, very slim line style knives. This is available on Amazon for sale. But again, uh, much smaller in length than that. And I will put the link for the description of this one. Um, I'm sorry, the link for this one in the description, but this is a fun little keychain knife, very high quality uh, materials in my opinion. Again, stainless steel. Uh, I don't know if it's real Damascus, but Damascus blade there and this is available on Amazon too. Uh, I'll put the link there. Much smaller than this little keychain knife. Um, but just to give you guys a little bit of size comparison there. So the knife comes in this beautiful box, beautiful packaging, sleeve there, bifold here, uh, books and crap. I haven't even opened this, but I'm sure there's some, you know what, let me open it. There's a microfiber cloth in there and then some literature on the knife and I'm sure maybe literature on Kaiser as a company. Um, that is in the box. More importantly, if I can deal with that later, more importantly, comes with this beautiful carrying case, which generally I don't use cases of my knives. I, I tend to use my knives. Um, I do like to maintain them and keep them as nice as possible. But with a knife like this, um, that's primarily made of titanium. Um, see, I've had this wallet for some time. Titanium will tend to um, develop and cure some imperfections as you can see um, without without much abrasion they tend to to get those so I will be using this case with the knife so I appreciate that Kaiser includes that in the box this knife here um, again beautiful beautiful aesthetically um, the action on it is decent it's got a nice uh, what do you call it? it's a thumb flipper or finger flipper tab um, you can also flip it with the thumb stud. I tried to spidey flick this thing. Now the D10 is weird. I say it's weak, but it's also strong in, in that it's not really easy to 
to front flip this, spidey flick this, or whatever you want to call it. Um, because of that detent, it's, it's a little difficult there. My nail begins to bend before the blade actually comes out. But thumb, thumb stud, no problem there. Push it down there. It's good action. Um, is it drop shutty? Let's see. Is it drop shutty? Fair enough. Now, the detent does not engage for quite a while, so, which is why I say it's kind of a weak detent. There it is. So let's try to show you one more time. About right there. And once it's in there, it's pretty pretty solid. It's not gonna not gonna swing out of there. But I think they could have made a little bit of a a, a detent that would have engaged a little sooner, and maybe one that would allow you to spidey flick it. But overall, I love the knife. Let's get some dimensions on it, and then we'll wrap up this video. Let's see here. So with the blade open, let's see we're on millimeters here. So with the blade open, well, my tool is not gonna measure with the blade open. I'll do the blade on its own. So 73.8 millimeters with the blade. And we'll add that to 102.5. Can do some simple math there and figure out the full length of the, with the blade open. Let's see, width of the handle, 28.7 millimeters. 25.4 at the base and we'll get toward the front 5.4 millimeters there with the blade closed. Let's see here. 100.6 millimeters. Shout out to my girl. She has a business, Panero's Hands. Go check her out on Instagram, YouTube, uh, on Facebook. She makes all kinds of stuff. Soaps, candies, shirts, cake toppers, etc. etc. Based on the colorway here, you may be able to tell this belongs to her. I appreciate her letting me use this. 105 grams on the weight for this to compare. We'll see the 80, 10, 202 grams, so almost twice the weight. <clears throat> Spartan, 263 grams, more than twice the weight. 80, 15, 189. And where's case? The case here, 103 and 18 grams. So there you go. That's been a quick overview. If you're hesitant on this knife, um, <clears throat> There are a ton, ton of other options out there, obviously. Uh, how practical is this? I think design uh, is, is pretty practical. Um, the, the only thing that would cause me to pause on using this for any hard use or regular use is just the aesthetic of it. It's a beautiful knife. To me, this is more of an artwork piece. I don't think that I'll be using this for much other than opening boxes in cutting non-abrasive items <clears throat> but to have in your collection to just look at um to play with and fidget with it's pretty fidgety yeah this is a good one good buy i paid 159 dollars for this on amazon at the time of this video and i uh i'm happy about it i'm happy about this purchase i hope this was helpful to me this is a go um drop a like if you guys have any questions comments i would love to hear from you guys um down in the comments i don't have a YouTube channel, but who knows? Maybe I'll I'll start doing one here soon, uh, covering topics like tactical stuff, knives, firearms, this here titanium wallet, EDC type stuff, and electronics. I'm a I'm an electronic junkie geek as well. So again, thanks for joining. Have a blessed evening. Peace.